Are you in a relationship where you say, I love him, I love her unconditionally? Or are you the single person who says, I want to find a man or a woman who will love me for who I am unconditionally? Pause, think about that. Okay, in your opinion, what is the meaning of unconditional love? Pause. Now in the dictionary's definition, what is the meaning of unconditional love? Pause. Okay, can I love somebody unconditionally? No. So I can say I desire an, a, a, a holistic love, a um, earthly love, my twin flame, my people call it soulmate, whatever words we want to use. But unconditional via definition is affection, love without limitations, without boundaries, restrictions, constraints, margins, whatever word we want to use within the thesaurus or dictionary. So, okay. The topic unconditional love is a subject of, sometimes it grits on me. And I understand that sometimes we respond in situations when we're not in it. So for an example, we may say, so-and-so cannot experience unconditional love or um, abstinence from love because they are not able to do it. So therefore they see that other people are not able to do it through their own limitations, through the eyes of their own limitations. But here's the thing, those of you who say you desire unconditional love or you have and living in within the realms of unconditional love, are you then saying to yourself or to me that you have no conditions whatsoever with the spouse that you're with? Okay, so he can beat you up, he can sleep with somebody else, she can cheat on you with your brother, you're still gonna be there because you love each other unconditionally, which means love without conditions. Okay, you with me? <laughs> okay. So this topic is inspired by the many posts that I see floating around social media. And also the many uh, conversations I've had broached to me in regards to uh, eligible bachelors and their requirement for unconditional love. And I will love you silver unconditionally. I kind of raise the eyebrow like, mm, mm-hmm. So no matter what I do, no matter what I say, you're going to love me till death do us part. Okay. How many of you have been married? How many, of you, how many of you are still married to the first person you ever married? Okay. What were your vows? They did not come within the realms of unconditional till death do us part in sickness and in health and all that blah, blah, blah. Why are you divorced now? Okay. How many of you have remarried once, twice, three, four times? Did you not repeat those same vows? Okay, has it worked? Or was it once again ending the third or fourth divorce? What does that tell you? Okay, briefly on the topic of marriage. If I were to get married, which I'm not the type that runs down a ring, I never have been. I don't feel I need to get married to, to feel validated as a woman. However, if I were to get married, I would desire to write my own vows. <laughs> One that I know that I will most definitely endeavor to commit to. Unconditional would have nothing to do with it. Because I believe the only person that I can truly love without conditions is my creator, the most high. Why is that? No matter what I pray for, no matter what I desire, no matter what I've been through, sometimes I do get frustrated and I think, God, you know, why aren't you not delivering me this? Or why can't you give me this? And why have I gone through this? But I still love him. I may sometimes even be frustrated. I may even act unintentionally blaspheme, but I still return back to him. I know he is the only person, he or she, creator, is the only person I love unconditionally. Okay, but check this. You won't be sitting there thinking, what's she talking about? It's only because she hasn't found it or she hasn't got it. You realize that even the most high loves you with conditions. Okay. We've been told that God loves us no matter what, no matter what we do. Correct. But there's still conditions to enter 
as we say, the gates of heaven. Those of us who believe in the Christian, uh, the Christian faith. So he may love you relentlessly, no matter what you do, no matter what you say, but there's still conditions for you to enter the, the kingdom of heaven. Thou shall not, thou shall not kill, thou shall not, whatever it is involving the, the commandments. In order for you to enter the kingdom of heaven, those who believe in heaven and hell, there's still requirements for you to fulfill in order to reach there. And even then they say, not all will make it. So bringing it back to the personal realm of relationships, what I am saying is, how do you love somebody without any conditions? Now I know one particular person who says he does. And salute to you, if you're watching this, you know who I'm talking about. He proclaims he loves unconditionally. They have an unconditional holistic love, which is beautiful. That then tells me if either of them ever sleep out on each other or anything like that, I'm not expecting them to break up because you told me you love without conditions, which gives me or the person in question free reign to do as they please. Remember that. As I was saying. Okay, so here's a scenario. A female friend of mine says, I don't know about you, Silver, but I know I love unconditionally. I know what me and my man have is, is distinctive, it's unique, and um, no matter what happens, we'll never break up because our love is unconditional. I think, wonderful, salute. That's really beautiful if you've achieved that. That's wonderful. Obtain it. Let me put this to you. I feel as adult humans, we say a lot of stuff until experiences enlightens us. I feel how I draw closer to truth, my own truth, in my own growth, is to sometimes place that situation as if it was my own child. So if your son or daughter came home and said, okay, let's say your daughter comes home and says, my boyfriend beat me up. What's your first response? Ah, uh -uh. but they love each other unconditionally, right? The way you do, right? So therefore, you're not expecting them to leave them, are you? Because they love without conditions. So that then means, even though he's beat her up, they may go through the healing, the therapy, the, co the communication, but you're not really gonna basically advise them to break up with their spouse because you believe in unconditional love. And therefore, if your child is expressing the same belief, why would you want them to leave that person? Okay, let's bring it to the sons. I have an adult son. And if he came home and told me that his girlfriend is um, profoundly mistreating him, I don't care what color their love is or how deep their, their love is, leave her. Because there is no place for abuse. And therefore, my point to this conversation, I can go on all day with different examples of what unconditional love. But my point to you is, if you are someone who professes to believe in unconditional love then what you are saying is that you can holistically love without conditions without limitations and restrictions are you that person now what i want to know is what is your definition of unconditional love and then margin that up to what the dictionary says unconditional love is as for myself i reiterate once again the only person i believe i can love totally about conditions is the most high because even my own offsprings I love to death but even that comes with some restrictions according to behavior respect and principles what's your thoughts this is silver free flowing thoughts where I capture the emotions of the moment